Howdy y'all and welcome back to lives. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. So, we're going to continue working on the house today. Um, I, I didn't get my sheep around to uh, do this carpeting up yet. And uh, uh, I need to get some more quartz and stuff. Because like some of this is the wrong colors, but... Uh, I did work a little bit on this room, uh, but I kind of ran out of, like I've got one green stained clay, and gray, well I got gray, what do I need in here, lime, I guess mostly I just gotta take this over and Stain it. It'd be alright. Let's go. Let's go get some more green over here. I've got some. Are you over here or are you over in the other spot? I know I've got some green. Cactus greens. Some green. I just kept saying the word green. I got some green. You know, green. Uh, <laughs> I've got some cactus green cut up, cut up, cooked up over here. Technically, I guess you could say it's... Okay, well, I got four cactus green. Uh, which is like, what, 32 blocks, right? Since the recipe for this, yeah. You grab that. Thank you. At least dyeing the uh, clay isn't so bad. Uh, I am... <sighs> Whoops. That's the basement. Do you forget where you're going? I am uh, struggling to remember what this room even looked like, honestly. I know that... Uh... Alright, so... This room... Uh, it does have a window in it here somewhere that I've got to knock out yet. Oh, that's my other color. <laughs> I was just kind of doing this stuff up with uh, random colors. Oh, actually, this is my other wall. I don't think this entire room was in camouflage, to be honest. Uh, I think what it had was maybe some trees? Man, I it wasn't my room when this all went down like this, so... I'm pretty sure that part of it was done up in in uh, paneled leaves. Someone who did a lot of hunting had this bedroom last. And uh, let's see. I would say the window would go right here. Uh, but this this room this room was uh, uh, my bedroom when I was about five or six I'd say uh, actually shared it so we had bunk beds um, and I don't really remember too much about it it was tiny though uh, this this actually is bigger than this room was. Uh, but it's due to the... Oh yeah, you know what? There's a window on this end too. Let's put it right here. Um, but uh, yeah, I remember, I remember being in there in bunk beds. And uh, the only...
I remember there's a lot of painting stuff in there. Uh, not that I paint, but um, the person I was sharing the room with at the time painted. <laughs> and so I remember there being painting stuff. And I remember, um, I do remember one time uh, the, uh, the driveway was being, we had a gravel driveway. And so they had dumped big piles of gravel out because they were going to be redoing the uh, the driveway and uh, I remember being out there playing as a kid and uh, uh, for some reason and I don't remember why uh, but for some reason I had smacked my sister with a spoon <laughs> Uh, and I really, I didn't remember why at the time either. I don't know why this is stuck with me as a childhood memory, but, um, well, I do know why, because it was the first time I was ever grounded, like, time out kind of thing. First time ever. And, uh, so I was sent to my room and I had to stay until, uh, <laughs> until I could remember why I did it. And I never could remember why I did it. I honestly couldn't remember why I did it right after I did it. Um, I just couldn't remember. Uh, I also decided that this room was gray and not blue. So I went ahead and made up some, whoops, some bricks. Um... But, uh, yeah, I shared that bedroom for years. Uh, like, two or three years, probably. Um, I, I guess I didn't... Uh, I don't know what color it was originally. That's one of the rooms I don't really remember very well. But I do know that we uh, paneled it at one point with just plain wood... Uh, with a black pinstripe kind of thing. And, uh, and so we had that. Um, I think, I, th nope, I don't remember. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, I don't know. It was, uh, it was a really small room. It was really narrow, uh, this is way bigger than what it was. It, uh, like I said, the, the living room is bigger so that there's enough room. Because really, uh, our living room was only like 8 by 15. So you got to figure the stairway is probably like 4 feet wide. Uh, and so this room was only like 9 by 6 maybe. Uh, which is pretty tiny. And uh, there's like enough room for the bed. And then the bed would hit the, or the bed would be against the edge of the door frame. Or no, maybe there's a, enough room for a bed and a dresser and then the door frame. Um, and then with the bed here, there's like just a path. So really, I guess it's not too far off if you if you narrow this down by one uh, each way. Like if this was the wall. It was more like this. Oh yeah, see that's, that feels much more narrow. This was the bedroom. <laughs> uh, uh, I remember it had blue, blue carpeting, dark blue carpeting. Uh, not not at the end, but uh, when I stayed in here as a kid. Um, and then I think my parents stayed in here for a while, and um, and then one of the other people stayed in it for a while. Um, and then my grandmother stayed in here for a while. This was her bedroom for a long time. Uh, pretty much right up until she died. And then, uh, and then the person before her moved back in. And had it until we, right, didn't he stay in there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> man, it has been... Ever since that was my bedroom. I was like really little kid. Uh, I actually actually stayed 
with the same person as my roommate. Uh, roommate, if you call siblings roommates, but... Uh, in one of the other bedrooms, too, that we'll get to eventually. But uh, this room out here, this, this was our front porch. Um, this room had a huge, huge change. You know, I've got to get some more, some more wood here. I, I got to cut down my uh, studs and joists that I used last time for my example. Um, so I was going to, uh, I'm not going to waste my stone is what's happening here. But in reality, uh, the, oh yeah, let me get all this here. So it, it's hard to explain this while we're standing over here chopping wood. So just let me chop the wood, and then I'll go talk about the uh, the front porch. Get out of here, big-headed zombie. Okay, so uh, I believe... I believe that this room was the original room of the house. All right. Uh, there used to be a stairway here, but that was before me, before my time. Uh, and my parents knocked it all out when they moved. Or maybe it was knocked out before they moved in. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, and so there was a wall across here uh, separating this into two rooms. And that wall was knocked out. But um, because... Because of the shape of the room, there used to be this uh, this wall that just came out like this. And, uh, uh, all right, so maybe it wasn't out that far. But like that. And then the, all right, maybe it wasn't that far either. Like that. And then the, uh, the washer and dryer were back here. And so the edges of this wall were broken wall. And then the opposite on this wall was the same thing. And so I remember we had these, uh, they looked like logs, but they were made out of like styrofoam. And they were uh, cut and fit over top of the wall where they like broke it out with a sledgehammer and never did anything with it. Um, and then of course that eventually over the years got busted down. And so before we finally remodeled, it was just naked uh, studs and stuff. Uh, I mean, just the edges. Um, and so, anyways, so this is original. The room above it is original. And then the uh, what they had over here was this was a root cellar, apparently, going down into what was the basement. And so then they built over top of the root cellar and added on, like, this room but you still went outside to get to the root cellar and then eventually the porch got added on and so the same thing happened with the front porch is it was added on later i don't know when but it was added on later and i know it was added on later because in the basement uh in the basement there were windows that used to look out and uh, they were cemented over and so Oh, man, look at that armored enchanted skeleton coming for me. And so, uh, oh, dang it. Really? I can't work a mouse. Can't do it. My my hands are too tired from playing Destiny all afternoon. Uh, pretty fun game. Uh, although my thumb is killing me because I don't play a lot of console and uh, mashing down that left joystick <laughs> to run forward is hurting my thumb. Uh, but uh, so this was added on, and um, it was pretty even with the with the. Uh, I don't know if this... Yeah, this is probably about as wide as this is going to be right here. Um, it was uh, it was pretty even with the living room floor. I think there was a slight step down, but not like an actual step. It was just sloped a little bit. 
Or maybe it was sloped from out here to inside. I can't remember. I remember this doorway right here um, before it got remodeled. Uh, there was, like, we kept a rug folded up in the dip. So I don't remember which way the dip went, but uh, it went one of the ways. Uh, okay, and then this has got to come all the way down to about here. Uh, because then... Oh, dang it. I walked right off the edge. Um, now, that that, uh, that front porch there, like I said, had one of the biggest changes uh, to its structure, I guess, uh, from when I was a kid. Uh, it actually wound up being... Um, it was open when I was a kid. And so uh, it was painted white almost my entire life that we lived here, um, which is kind of funny because uh, later later we painted it gray. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop these down here. Um, what we're standing on here should be probably done in stone instead of... Uh, wood but like i said i'm not going to waste my stone because i don't want to take the time to make some charcoal to smelt some stone so i'm gonna go with what i got here and uh uh you know what nope that's fine that's fine because then we'll do the extra siding here i guess um I gotta think about this. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We'll just, uh... We'll just run this in from here. But it ran the length of the, uh, the living room and this back bedroom here. Uh, hey! And... Um, we never really used it for a whole lot. Like, I, I guess when I was a kid, uh, there were some chairs out here that you could sit on. And there were a lot of plants. My grandmother kept a lot of plants out here. Um, and then uh, there were black columns that, uh, like... Hold on, I'm, I'm kind of counting here. Well, actually, that would have been over here. Uh, Alright, so maybe this isn't even enough to do this, but there were these columns that ran. Like, I imagine these are black, and uh, that ran along through here. Uh, and, then, uh, and then the roof. Um, and that was, that was the front porch. Uh, now there was a, a doorway that led into uh, led into this back room here, and uh, and a doorway that ran into the living room, uh, and then there's a stairway right here that goes down. So I actually guess I need you to stick out a little bit more here. Uh, sorry, column, you don't actually belong here. Uh, now the whole front of this is going to be done up in wood. Um, it was uh, gray, well, it was brick, and then it was painted over gray, I think. And then uh, this actually... Well, uh, no, you know what? I don't need this here because this is going to be wood. Yeah, you guys need to come with me. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. Talent, that's what that was, that was talent. Uh, and then, uh, and then, like I said, there's stairs down right here um, that we'll have to we'll have to do up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I don't know. And and then what happened was uh, when we remodeled this, um, and it had uh, it was just stone. This flooring was stone. And then uh, when they remodeled, they put down uh, some carpet, 
really thin, no padding carpet. And, um, and they closed in the whole front of this and put in big windows like the back porch has. And so let me go to the back porch. And so it actually looked really similar to this. Um, only there was more uh, support between windows rather than just one big giant open window that I thought was going to blow in every time there was a storm. And uh, not a lot more, just a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so we've actually got to get in here and do... Uh, you know what I really need is some oak slabs because it was done up in... Uh, is it oak I want, or is it... Jungle. Nope, I'm pretty sure it was oak. Uh, oak colored. And, uh, and so the whole... There was like a whole row, um, you know, waist high of, of oak. And then, uh, and then the windows ran up to the ceiling. Uh, and so... Uh, and then every so often there was, you know, a uh, divider. Because uh, uh, we had to keep in a couple of the pillars to hold the roof up. And so while we took out the pillars, we did have to put in, like, studs and stuff. I didn't actually help remodel this section either. This was one of those don't want you to help because you go too fast moments. Um, and then down here, this was all open when I was a kid. And then we, uh, we put a door in and... Uh, um, I, you know what, I didn't, I didn't do the windows and stuff, but I did f do the finishing work. Uh, this was a project that was left until I was apparently in charge of remodeling. And, uh, and so this was one of the last projects I had worked on was uh, sealing this in, uh, or finishing the, I think the end of this was undone, it was kind of just studs. And so I finished that all in, you know, insulation and stuff. And then, uh, um, and then I had bought, uh, it's kind of funny, but I bought a bunch of uh, conduit, which are like plastic tubes that you put on the outside of like brick walls. They run wiring through. And I actually, um, I actually had drilled through into the basement and had uh, all this wiring ready to uh, wire in some plugs and stuff because we were going to make use of this and then uh, and then it all got filled in with stuff um, like this became the dumping ground for um, all the construction equipment from remodeling and which is fine because I was using it a lot but then it also became suddenly because I had put some stuff out here everybody wanted to put stuff out here and so it really just got filled up till about here, below the level of the window, but up to about here with stuff. And then um, on this end was uh, uh, <laughs> drywall. Well, no, you know, this is this is the way it went down. I'll tell you, this is, this is the way it went down. This is gonna this is gonna be part of my my bathroom story though. The bathroom's over there. Uh, so. I had bought a bunch of tools to do the remodeling with because we didn't have any real tools. And so all the remodeling that was being done was, I don't know how they did it because apparently they didn't have any tools. And when I went to use the tools, all the tools were gone. And so I went and bought new tools. And so, you know, I bought like a miter saw and a skill saw uh, or a circular saw because the circular saw, the cord was busted on it. Uh, so I don't know what they were using when they were using the circular saw because apparently the one we had didn't work. Um, so I bought a new one of those and, you know, nails and screws and caulk and all that stuff. And so I would keep it here in the corner um, and, until I needed to use it again. And, uh, well, uh, they decided to remodel the bathroom. And I don't really do a lot with plumbing, so I told them they should probably get someone who knows what they're doing to do the plumbing in the bathroom and uh and that uh until they did that there wasn't a whole lot i could do and uh so uh they hired a contractor 
No, no, no. I'm sorry. They decided that I would remodel the bathroom anyways, even though I told them I didn't know how to do the plumbing. Uh, now, I'm not saying I couldn't figure it out. I'm saying I didn't want to figure it out. And so uh, I think my brother helped pick out all this stuff to do the bathroom with. And, uh, and so what they wound up with was all this stuff that I didn't have the tools to work with and didn't have the know-how to work with. Not that I, like I said, couldn't have figured it out. Um, but I would have had to buy all new tools and stuff, and I don't know how to do all that plex crimping stuff that they bought and for the plumbing. And uh, so what happened was they bought tile and drywall and um, special drywall, though, for the bathroom. you got to get, like, the kind that doesn't allow mold to grow and... Um, I've never done tiling, and I don't have the tools for tile. And so they bought all this tile that they wanted to put down, and um, grout, and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't have the tools, and I've never done any of that. So they, uh, it just sat here on the porch for, like, I'll bet a year at least. And, uh, at least. And so this here in front of this window, actually became the uh, the dumping spot for any kind of sheets of... No, no, it went back farther than that. Uh, they were going to build a cabinet or an armoire or something for this bedroom. And so were there, like, there were like uh, four foot by eight foot sheets of oak. And there were uh, drywall sheets. And um, like this this room here had this, uh, okay, it was originally green, mint green, and then they put up paneling that was um, uh, gray with little flowers in it, and so there were still sheets of that out here. Uh, and uh, and so, you know, um, and, and just stuff like paneling for the kitchen was still out here, and all kinds of stuff like that, and... Uh, and so they just loaded up more, and so everything from the door this way was uh, big 4x8 sheets of plywood and drywall and paneling and um, and oak board and I don't know if it was oak, but it was something. It was really heavy. And then, um, and then on this side was just stacks of cement and grout and tile and all that stuff for the bathroom. Um, and then I had my tools were over here in like two or three boxes. And then like the, uh, uh, the miter saw was out by itself and then dump on top of that, everything that nobody else wants to store someplace. Um, and, uh, you know, and so then I just couldn't get to my tools and this was just a huge mess. And so, uh, even though I had bought the conduit to work on this, um, you know, it took, um, it took them so long to get it cleaned out from all their stuff that uh, we actually brought the conduit with us when we moved. I never got a chance to install it. It still had stuff in it when we moved, and that stuff got moved, and, and well, not all of it, because I threw a lot of it away. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's really any other stories I can think of for this front porch. Uh, I can think of some stuff outside here, but not the front porch. I never did anything with the front porch. It used to have flowers hanging on it and stuff like that. I really didn't get a... I should have got some more. I did get some more, didn't I? Oak wood. guess we can at least uh, work on this a little bit here while I'm talking. You know what? That doesn't even need to be there. I don't know why I'm putting wood here. That can be... A chunk of that. Uh, this might be too tall for this, too. Honestly, I don't remember this. No, this was pretty tall. This was pretty tall. Will you go on there? Um, 
All right, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do two, three. One, two, three. Two, yeah, we'll just, this one will have to be a four. And then, oh, I ran, <laughs> I ran out of wood, man. I should have knocked down some more wood. Yeah, that's kind of what the uh, the front porch looked like. Not from the outside, of course. The outside will be all white because that's what it was. It was painted white. And for that, I've got to mine a bajillion sections of nether trying to get enough uh, quartz to do up white because there's nothing else white in the whole game. Other than wool, and I don't want to use wool. I guess I could use wool, but uh, I've started with the quartz, so I think it's going to be quartz. That seems like such a huge gap between window and window. How big is this going to be? Get a wall here. You know, I actually think that the... Let me look at this real quick in here. I actually think I might have to push the end of this porch down. No, it really wasn't bigger than this. Man, somehow this room here is way bigger than it needs to be. Not going to lie. I really don't know how, though. The stairs... Well, we'll just have to not have it quite the way it was then. Um, the stairs, actually... Uh, I, I guess I want to talk about that. Let me talk about that real quick, and then I'll let you go. Um, the stairs were visible uh, from here. There's actually, uh, what we're going to wind up with here is uh, in the basement, there's a platform that runs out a little bit. All right, and so this pig, this is wall. It's not going to be green either. So that's wall, and that's wall, and... That's wall. Oh no, that that feels pretty tiny. Um, I just don't think it ran out this far, but uh, we'll have to we'll have to run it down a little sooner than it probably would have in real life. But there was a uh, you could see the stairs from below the bottom of the stairs from the basement landing. And then um, I was talking about this other room over here, the camouflage room. And uh, this room, the stairs actually came through the corner of this, uh, this room here, which we don't have because this is too tall. But, yeah. All right, well, I think we're going to call it here. So click like if you like. Subscribe to be sure to catch the next one. And uh, hopefully I can uh, take the time to get some more supplies. We'll have to see. But uh, I will talk to you later.